Welcome to another edition of Dallas Rocks. Another edition, I might add, without Dave on camera. I guess uh, I guess he's going to be fired for sure this time. But uh, we got a lot of cool things coming up later on. We're going to have the guys from Aska showing up here. They're going to do a little acoustic jam here. And uh, right now, let's get things started with my favorite guy. This is the Reverend Horton Heat. You guys can catch him and uh, Deep Ellum on the 25th. They're going to be doing a 10th anniversary show for uh, Club Clearview. So if you get a chance to see the Rev, man, you got to get out there. But this is Do It One Time for me on Dallas Rocks. Right now, we are joined on set by the guys in Aska. What's going on, guys? How's hey, doing, hey, what's up? How you doing, Kevin? Pretty good, pretty good. Why don't you introduce yourselves, tell everybody what you do in the band. Okay, I'm George Call. I play guitar and uh, mostly lead vocals. Darren Knapp, sing, play guitar. I'm Damon Call, all drums. I'm Keith Knight, bass guitar, some vocals. I kind of feel like David Letterman here. You know, the guys live on the set. You yeah, a lot, lot better looking than David Letterman. You guys, are the, <laughs> you guys are the first guys that uh, came in the studio and done this. So hopefully it's going to come out great. So uh, tell us a little bit about the band. You guys have uh, been around Dallas for quite a while, huh? Oh, man, we've been, we've been uh, out there on the battlefield for years now. But, you know, taking the music to the people. Taking it to you, Dallas. And you guys have done uh, quite a few overseas gigs. Yeah, uh, we're about to go on our fifth overseas tour in, what, late September? September 26. September 26, yeah. So, uh, and it should be fun. It's going to be our fifth one in four years. Uh, is that right? That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. Fifth tour in four years uh, overseas. We've done all of Europe, uh, the Mediterranean, the Middle East. So on those Middle Eastern shows and, and uh, some of those, what are those venues like that you guys are playing at? I mean, it's, are they, it's are they clubs? You got to remember, we still got people think that the Gulf War is over and all that, but we've got a lot of people still over there. Yeah. And uh, we'll be playing everything from outdoor shows for you know a thousand crazy nutty GIs in the middle of Saudi uh, to you know little little club type acts yeah. and things like that. I mean, just anything that we can get in front of people to entertain. Just so that they can get something from home, and uh -huh. you know, ask is there to do it for them. There's uh, the, also the type of places are like some of the names for the like we play a place called the Desert Dome out there in an island off the in the Persian Gulf off the coast of Saudi Arabia uh, called Bahrain. It's the Desert Dome. That's a pretty cool show. Uh, there's uh, what else? Then there's also some rinky dink places. <laughs> you know, so it's uh, it varies out there, but. Uh, you know, what's cool, too, is that a lot of people, we run into a lot of people here in Dallas that have seen us over there. This is going to be our third time to Saudi individually. We've also been to Europe a couple of times. But if you saw us out there, cool. I bet you're happy to be home now, but we're going to be going and playing for the rest of the guys that are out there now. Now, you guys were out there, like you said, talking about the, the Gulf War. You were out there when it was actually going on, weren't you? I mean, oh, yeah. The, yeah. what was on the news and everything. Yeah. Matter of fact, we went back one time, we thought it was over. And we get out there, and they started up that strike in the Gulf. Saddam uh, went over there and disrupted the no-fly zone thing. We went out and kicked his ass again. Oh, did you say that? <laughs> oh, sure, man. Hey, ass is not uh, a censored word. We kicked his word. ass, though. We kicked his <laughs> ass. Uh, I'll tell you, um, you know what? We, uh, we were in UAE, actually. It was called the strike in the Gulf is what it was. And we were at our hotel in, uh, uh, I guess, the city or the place where I was called Fujairah. And uh, we're at our hotel on the beach and everything, and suddenly our, uh, our like a road manager guy out there, our coordinator, says, come on in, come here guys, quick, come in the room. And we're watching CNN, and it's like, man, this is happening right now. I mean, they, they just missiled uh, the like, embassy or whatever, something out there in Iraq. It's a hotel in Tel Aviv. Yeah, a hotel or something. It was a whole big missile strike, and we're like, oh my God, we're here, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, our, whole, so, our whole tour was delayed because of that, yeah. as a matter of fact. It was, uh, yeah, I, I don't think we, I don't think we lost any dates, but uh, the thing was... Extended. Yeah, yeah we had more some, shows. some shows were postponed because of the, the strike and whatnot. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, a, our, our, a plane that was supposed to carry us from UAE to another country, which maybe Egypt, I think Egypt got totally knocked off of the, the tour on that tour. That, what tour was that, Band in the Sand? Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights. Nights. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we had a 
show knocked off, wild. man. So have you guys actually see any of those uh, women and stuff all wrapped up? Oh, yeah, up? all like the time. Really? Yeah. So it's got to be a, a, a dead groupie scene it's, over there, huh? It's kind of weird, man. <laughs> not, not getting yeah. much skin back. Kind of weird. No. Yeah. They're pretty mystified with us when they see us out really? there, you know? All the hair and everything, and, you know, they're, like, checking us out. No, that the guys find us kind of cute, yeah. too. <laughs> oh, yeah? I mean, Mid-Eastern men on the whole, uh, over there, it's, a, it's an acceptable thing for a man to uh, be with another man. Oh, yeah. so like here, I mean, we have to hide it and stuff. But oh, <laughs> out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, keep it in the closet. Way to hide it, man. Come but on. I'll tell you, uh, they, I mean, no, just kidding. The only <laughs> one that's daring. Uh, <laughs> he has his own, uh, he has his own hotel. <laughs> He's pitching <laughs> for the other team. That's a lie, but, uh, man. <laughs> I never molested any child. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, the, it's, it's totally acceptable for men to be with other men out there, and they are. And openly, and it, you see men walking hand in hand. And it uh, like that'd be something they'd really yeah. scorn or whatever. You, you know? you'd think, but since their women are all wrapped up, oh, you're yeah. not allowed to mess with the women generally. Yeah. So, so when you see them in the Carrollton, Dallas, Fort Worth area, these Middle Eastern men, you gotta <laughs> wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the counter is 7-Eleven. So Back out. And this week with David Brinkley, we'll be talking about the Mideast. Now, uh, did you, do you guys actually get to go around and, I mean, like you see on uh, the movies and stuff, the marketplaces and all yeah. that? Oh, yeah, yeah. The the yeah, the souk is yeah. what it's called. The gold it's, souk. Uh, good shopping. You know, lots of good gold prices and stuff. And we get to travel around and freak out the people. They see us, they don't know what the hell it is. I think that, I think that three quarters of the money that Darren made on tour was spent on gold, or puzzle <laughs> rings at the gold souk. Ain't that right? <laughs> well, what we're going to do got, this time. got these in Europe. When we go this time, or when you guys go this time, we're going to have to send a uh, mobile Dallas Rocks cam. You guys yeah, are going to have cool to get it, some man. of that footage right there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll, be, we'll, be, uh, we'll send you guys a postcard or whatever. We'll do it. Anyway, just so yeah. you can you know, tell your viewers and whatnot, but it should be cool. And get some of the live stuff from there. Send Give us a uh, Dallas Rocks plug over there in the Middle East, and you know, that'll we'll be cool. Yeah. And uh, speaking of some live stuff now, uh, we were able to go down to... Uh, the rage, the rage before yeah. it shut down and last, caught you guys uh, live. Last show is, is like it's next to last or last night. That was the last weekend. Yeah. Uh, oh no, that wasn't. No. Not when you filmed. That was quite right. We were with uh, Quiet Riot that night. And yeah, you guys, Quiet Riot, ask a Mystic Trip. One hell of a show. Yeah. Now you guys kind of stole the show because afterwards I heard uh, not many people stuck around for Quiet Riot. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know. That's uh, how it goes. We were pretty yeah, high, man. Yeah. We were jamming. Yeah, actually, the, the, the truth of the situation was um, there's a club in the area, Smoking Dave's. Yeah. Are we allowed to oh, talk sure. about Smoking Dave's? Okay. Smoking and he had, he had double booked us uh, the night of the Quiet Riot show. So we, had, we already had the Quiet Riot, you know, show. We played it, and then we had a headliner booked at Smoking Dave's. So... Of course, we packed up all our gear and headed to Smoking Days for our headline show there. And what, 75% of the crowd <laughs> went, with, went with us? Yeah, they took off. And uh, yeah, Smoking Days was the place to be. Hey, man, you gotta <laughs> support that local scene. You know, you know what it it's hurting yeah. right now, big time. Okay, as as uh, the clubs. Yeah, a lot of the, you guys are doing some Deep Ellum gigs now, huh? Oh, That's yeah. right. Uh, okay. Next weekend. Uh, We'll be playing at The Rock on Main Street in Deep Ellum. It'll be Saturday the 11th and, oh, excuse me, Friday the 11th and Saturday the 12th. And uh, we'd like to see you there. Also, That's a, give them a month, too. Cause the month that, yeah. We're yeah. in August, by the way. If uh, You'll probably be seeing this tonight. Uh, some of you this anyway. is a pre-recorded show, people. <laughs> and uh, the other thing to know is go to Blockbuster. Blockbuster has the CD. We'll be showing that. We'll give you a, a close-up shot of that later so you know what it looks like. Go down there to Blockbuster and say, I want to hear Aska. And you guys I'll also have a, a hotline number that, that people can call and find out what's up. With hopefully, hopefully that'll be flashing on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. yeah. Going but, uh, here. <laughs> got a nationwide toll-free. It's 1-800. Well, let's give them a local first. Okay, right. The local, uh, which you can call Metro, anywhere in the Metroplex. And this is where people are going to see mm -hmm. this. Metroplex. Dallas Rocks. Kevin Baxter, Dallas Rocks. Aska <laughs> is... Uh, 214-622-ASKA. Let's all leave that together, okay? You too, Kim. 214-622-ASKA. 
and I you got can the ask a part. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you can get uh, all show information and uh, other happenings in the ASCA camp, uh, latest tours, uh, where we're going to be, what's happening, you know, what, all the latest info by calling 214-62 ASCA. You can also get on our mailing list and a little, I guess, later in the show or right now, we're going to be giving away a are going to be giving away a CD. That's right. The hotline. For the Dallas Rocks viewers, uh, if you're the third caller and you call that number, which hopefully will be flashing on the screen, 214-62-ASCA, you'll be the third caller. Give us your name, number, and address, and you will win a free copy of this CD over here. Females can give has. dimensions. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Uh, you can win a free copy of the third caller, and that's every time this plays. Third caller, leave your name, number, address, and uh, you'll win a copy of that. And if uh, you didn't win, just head on down to Blockbuster and listen to it free. That's good <laughs> stuff. So, uh, see, cool. we'll take Dallas Rocks Taste Care of You, Ask It Taste Care of You, right here. The only place you can get it free. <laughs> well, let's run some of that live stuff we're talking about. Cool. Do it. And, uh, We'll come back on the other side, talk about it. You guys also have a uh, kiss thing. I'll just tease it at that. So okay. check out the live stuff when we come back. Uh, we talk about that. We'll talk about Good. kiss when we come back. A good buddy. Rock and roll. We're going to ask a show soon. Hey, wait, we got hey, 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 hey. Uh, Now, these, these shows, man, we've been doing this for years. And we've built up one hell of a following. And we'd like to thank them right now because we couldn't be where we are. We couldn't do the stuff and put out these CDs without our fans. We love you guys. If you're an ASCA fan, if you've been coming to the shows for the past few years. We love, we love you. We do it for you because we love you and you look good in a t-shirt. <laughs> also, we'd like to thank our crew because uh, these guys, you know, they, they, they do it. They do the it. Mobile ASCA. The mobile Wade Cam. Living around the night. Great. All right, man. What's <laughs> well, so, up? Wait, world. See, hey, over here, Alan. We got Dan. Guys. Our manager Dan over there. Our road manager Scott Pierce right behind you. 180, 180, Wade. 180, whoa! <laughs> Wade's world! Yeah! Wade's world! Alright, man, we will see Wade's you world. on Dallas Rocks! Oh! Yeah. Hey, we're Asuka! Asuka. And you're live on Dallas, Dallas Rocks! Rock. And our oh, brand new yeah. CD is Immortal. Who got it? Who took the CD? It oh, yeah. there it is. Immortal. Get it now. Immortal. Get it now. Get Immortal. Uh, you're already Immortal if you're watching Dallas Rocks. Ask yeah. it off. Okay, the nationwide number is 1-800-960-COCO. And here's the important part. <laughs> That's actually, it's 2626 is the last four numbers, for those that don't know what Coco is. But, um, 1-800-960-2626. You got it. And you have to put in the PIN number, 622-ASCA. Okay, so anybody, you call them from, uh, from Alaska, from California, you can call us toll free and we'll set you up. Got it? Okay, you guys were also at the uh, KISS convention. Yes, we were. We have, a, we have a treat for you. We're going to show you some here. The Aska Immortal T-shirt swing, and if you'll notice one thing, right there, there's some signatures of some very famous and very cool people. That would be uh, Paul Stanley, Gene Simmons, Eric Singer, and Bruce Kulick. Nailed All that, that, and we will be offering this at Aska shows. We're having a little raffle, kind of a thing to. Bust everybody out and have some fun. Get somebody a really cool oh, memorabilia. This will, all, this will also have our signatures. Whoever wins this shirt will also sign it to them personally, but you'll have Kiss and Aska all on one thing. Now, how do we do this? We're at the Kiss convention. Uh, Darren and I met Paul Stanley back in 1986, where oh, Paul God. Stanley proceeded to rig. Uh, how many people remember lightning music? I don't know if you do. But uh, Paul Stanley rigged the guitar giveaway contest and gave a B series. <laughs> Paul, you, we love you, man. <laughs> but he rigged the, the contest uh, and he gave Darren a B series ST3 like it. guitar. Gotta love That's a free right. guitar. That's right. I paid for every one of mine. Right. So From Paul he did Stanley better than Bruce yeah. Kulick. That's right. And they signed it and uh, it was for Darren. They gave it away at the Ritz. 
That's back in '86. Oh, yeah. Back in the, it, that was before Aska days. I was, and we met him, and you know all that. And we've talked to Paul and Gene on a f- occasion since that when they've been uh, in town, did their shows here. We've hooked them up with Aska CDs and everything. And they're one of the probably the only professional band that we thank on our CD, besides you know some of our local favorites. And uh, so they thought that this would be cool. We thought it would be cool. And it's for a chance for everybody to get a cool kiss thing and an ask a thing. Very. It's for you. And George, I heard you got to do a little uh, singing and performing with them at the yeah. convention. How'd that exactly. go? Well, that, that was kind of cool. They had a, um, a little, you know, quite a few people that got to sing songs and whatnot. But I got to sing all the way from their Harder Than Hell album. And since we're all Kiss fans, that was... It was cool for me. Yeah. Kiss has an influence, influenced us a bit. You know, you can't. <laughs> never. We don't even like them. Talking about some performing, I hear you guys got the acoustics here. You want to do something? Uh, Let's do okay. it. For you, anything, guys. All right, we'll man. It. Well, uh, what did you want to sing? <laughs> I'm calm. I'm not saying anything here. today. Unless you guys know some uh, killer Stevie Ray Vaughan or anything. Yeah, so. we'll, we'll work out for you. I'll okay. Also play let's... the guitars. <laughs> All right, that does it for this edition of Dallas Rocks, and I'd like to thank the guys from ASCA for coming out, and uh, you guys get a chance to see them live, and if you haven't seen them live, it ain't going to work, because you know where they're going to be playing, and you need to get out there and see them, man. So we're going to leave you with some Robert Plant, and then come back on the other side with Metallica, and we'll see you next time on Dallas Rocks.